They said, remember God. Imam uh, Muhammad gave the definition of, of dhikr means thinking, because we have for uh, women, thinking women and thinking men, dhikr. So the thinking that you have should be the thinking of God. So you think about it. We look in, 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 in this society. In this society, uh, they are doing many, many great miracles. And one of the uh, greatest miracles is, is uh, they take a kidney out and they can put in another kidney. They can take a heart out and they put in another heart. They can, they can take a vein out and put in another vein. They can take just about anything out. I mean, you, you get a, take a hip out and they put a metal hip. Put an elbow out and they put in a metal elbow. Uh, the man Muhammad, and I actually go back to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, is that they got all these transplants. He said the main transplant that we need is a brain transplant. <laughs> Allah Akbar. We need a mind change. Now think about it. I gave the example how a mind could be, le- uh, 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 c- could be locked up. The problem, the Imam Muhammad says, that the people have in religion is that they have been uh, studying their books, but they have been misreading their books. They have been taking that which was inferior and uh, making it big, and that which is important, they make it uh, less. And you and I, from the experience that we came, uh, came from, we can understand brain lock quite well. Because when we read the Holy Quran, it was in Arabic. We couldn't read Arabic, could we? And then we read it in English. We couldn't read the English. Why is that? Because we were looking for Farad Muhammad in there. We were looking for the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in there. We were looking for Yaqub in there. That's what we were looking for in the Quran. And Allah refused to open up. <laughs> right? Our mind was locked up. But all praise is due to God. Allah sent Imam W.D. Muhammad. Farai Muhammad said there were 16,000 rusty locks and they needed some keys. The ho- and the Holy... Co- Thank you. 17 million or 16 million, whatever. But more than 16,000, right? Okay, so we need the keys, right? But where is the keys? And the Holy Quran says Allah has the keys to the heavens and the earth. God has the keys to the heaven and earth. And in fact, everything that we see around us has a message in it. Everything. And a message from Almighty God for you. This whole creation, the Holy Quran says, the heavens and the earth was created for you. So God speaks through you, through the creation. And He speaks to you real loud, but because you can't hear, you can't see. You're blind, deaf, and dumb. Isn't that what they said? We're mentally blind, deaf, and dumb. Then we cannot hear the communications of God. Allahu Akbar. So God speak to us. And in the Holy Quran it says that, with the, uh, that in every, in every, um, in everything that we, uh, we have, uh, there's Allah's uh, uh, mercy and knowledge. Mercy and knowledge. Now think about it. Everything that we have is God's mercy and knowledge. You look at a bird. You come up with an air, airplane. Isn't that a mercy? And isn't that knowledge? You see a, 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 a leaf going down the, the river. And you come up with a, a, a ship that weighs 10 tons or 100 tons floating on water. Isn't that mercy? And isn't that knowledge? Allahu Akbar. So Allah speaks to us. And in speaking to us, we see that he spoke through Prophet Muhammad, through the angel Jibreel, and we have the word of Almighty God. So if we want to see Adam, if you want to see Moses, if you want to see Jesus, what they thought, what their mind was, go to the Holy Quran. All of them, all those revelations right there. And that thought pattern, that mind pattern, and look at that. That, that mind pattern represents elevation of knowledge to the highest elevation. Father, uh, Abraham is referred to as uh, the father Abraham. Why is he called father? Because he represents the original nature. The nature in which you are totally in tune with God's creation. Uh, and he was created on the original pattern that God created everything. 
And so uh, within that, it tells us that if you follow the nature that God has established, you will be successful. You will be successful. But if somebody come in between and, and uh, uh, blind you and make you deaf, and, uh, and uh, you know, yeah, yeah, there's many people right now, they think that uh, 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 chicken nuggets uh, comes that way. They didn't know it came from a real chicken. I mean, they don't know what chickens came from. It's just called chicken nuggets. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Most of our children, they, you know, if, if, if you don't take them out to a farm or wherever like that, so, you know, where does, where does the corn come from? Where does the string beans come from? They come out of a can, as far as you're concerned. As far as they're concerned. Allahu Akbar. So, um, uh, the uh, collective human soul. Okay. It says, uh, in the Holy Quran, it says, uh, oh, when I uh, mentioned about it, it says, the word ta'ma'innu. Nasul mutma'innu is from that same word. That, and it means that your soul is pleased with God and God is pleased with you. So look at this. It says, those who believe and they find pleasure in their hearts in the remembrance of God. Only the remembrance of God brings peace and pleasure to their soul. Allahu Akbar. So we have to understand that uh, Imam Rasul, I hear him a lot of times, he said that that, that is an elevated lecture, elevated lecture. Well, Imam Muhammad, I mean, if, I'll give you a good example. You go to uh, go downtown and get into, uh, in, uh, go into the Sears building. You push that button to the elevator and if they got 120 floor, floors, it'll elevate you real quick. <laughs> right? Now if man can do that, can't God elevate you? He can elevate you real quick. They thought that what they did to us by robbing us of the knowledge of selves and putting us in the, in a, on a slave plantation in a slave making factory, they thought we would be dead for 10,000 years. At least 10,000. Allahu Akbar. And look at us now. We got a president of the United States that leading the, the most powerful man in the world. That is an African American president, Barack right Obama. It says on Allah. It's, uh, it says on Allah. Uh, 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 on Allah, let all men of faith put their trust. In the Holy Quran, is uh, it says uh, there's a you'll find a verse uh, that says uh, uh, on God I put my trust. We put trust in God. We are believers in God. You know, before we uh, were brought over here. We were believers in God. And when He brought us here, we were believing in God. And we believed in Allah, but we lost that. And it was transformed from Allah to another form. And we started seeing God in, uh, in images and, and so forth. But Allah, He cannot be contained. There is no picture of God. No picture of God. Allah Akbar. The collective human soul. So on God, we put our trust. Um... Now look, it says, whoever says I am God is guaranteed hell. And the Holy Quran says, O oh, you who believe, save yourself and your families from the fires of sin. Right? So that means that you, now it says, O oh, you who believe, save your souls and your families from the fire of sin. So that means that it's your job to be a savior, right? So we know that God has the power to save. But God sends us saviors in many forms. And in human forms. And we can say that Imam W.G. Muhammad in 1975, when he unlocked our brains and gave us a clear understanding of Allah, Prophet Muhammad, and, uh, and Al-Islam, that... Uh, Allah Akbar. That... Uh, that... Uh, uh, he saved us. Freed us. He saved us, right? We could still be in there. And then look at Munkar. See, I'm on my subject, and I'm going to wrap it up in about five minutes. Look at Munkar. Uh, Maruf means that which is established. 